Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series on the internet, Guess the Elo. Over the past year of recording these episodes, many of you have laughed, cried, and everything in between over the five games that you see on your screen. But this episode had two games that were so absurd and filled with horrible mistakes that I featured them individually in their own videos. I hope you enjoy today's episode. I hope it brings out many, many emotions in all of you. And before we jump into the games, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Nobody. See, YouTube doesn't know this, but before we recorded today's episode of Guess the Elo, I lost like 90% of my Blitz games. You don't know that because you watch over there, unless you're a double agent and you watch here and on YouTube. But so today, since I'm playing so poorly, I'd like to watch my subs play their game. So we have a Karo Khan advanced variation, and now my favorite variation, C5, hashtag Gotham Karo Khan course, hashtag probably other courses that recommend it, Hashtag GothamChess.com Hashtag Bishop E3 Okay, this is an absolutely horrible move White should not be strengthening the center With a bishop That doesn't make any sense Because just take And then play knight c6 And then you, you, know, you put the pawn here This is not how you try to stabilize the center Now that actually didn't happen It turns out that black plays b6 which is just an absolutely terrible decision. Like, you know, one of my first lessons, like a minute into the Karo Khan, is you play c5 in order to put pressure like this. You do not care if they take the c pawn. Why did you just now decide to defend it? You weren't defending it here. How does this even make sense? Okay, fine. And white doesn't take anyway. White goes back to re-strengthening the position. Knight c6. Okay. Knight f3. Bishop. Okay. See, this is why you need this here. Because bishop b5 is so much more powerful now. <clears throat> wow. Aggressive. And yeah, completely lost now. Bishop b5 wins for white. It wins because black doesn't have enough material and, and defenses for this. Uh, white to play. Hold on. White to play and win. White to play and win. How does white apply more pressure? White does something called a clearance sacrifice. E6 to play knight E5. E6. Knight E5. Very nice move. Now you might say, what about F6? Actually, F6 is a little bit of resistance, but it's still plus 6. So, you know, your position's terrible. But of course, that doesn't happen because these players are probably rated like 700, 800. E6. Okay, great. Oh, now black is almost better. <laughs> hey, we're going to have a fun time. This is gonna be this is gonna be a good episode. I'm very. I'm, I, this is gonna be a good one. Okay, knight d2. Okay, take e5, free pawn. Okay, we took the knight. I mean e5, free pawn. Black has not made so so far. Black has played uh, 12 moves. I would have played none of Black's moves. Uh, after e, after the after the first three. Okay, good. That's the first move I agree with. What is this? It's like, I mean, it's like white is being held at gunpoint or something and just playing chess. I mean, white has, what is queen c1? I mean, this literally makes no sense. Why? Your queen has been given the powers of the chess gods to travel long diagonals and you slide it over like a king? The king is the most beta piece. Doesn't make any sense. Knight c6, knight f3. Knight, okay. So, yeah, judging by how quick black is to capture literally anything that they can, probably like 700. F5! Oh my god, F5. Now, do you think white remembered en passant? No chance, right? Oh man, they get 100 points for even remembering that move. That's a terrible move. It's a horrible move. Just knight e6 here. It wins a pawn, but... Okay, takes. Queen e7, pin! Yes. Oh. Oh, good move. Yes. Taking everything. Nice. Rook end game by 800s. Everybody's favorite subject. I predict that by the end of this, we're going to see like three queen promotions, four blundered rooks. They have a chance to prove me wrong, but okay. okay, there we go. Beautiful. Yes. Why not? Just clean pawn blunder. I mean, like, yeah, you got six of them. Just hang one. No problem. Well, I mean, you know, in the rook end game, you should probably double up your rooks, you know, just make sure you don't hang anything. Eh, just give a pawn away. Like, whatever. And now black is completely winning because black will create connected pass pawns. ENF together, walk the king, walk the rooks, game over. Takes, takes, rookie one. Oh my god, incredible. Okay, so it's probably like minus five. Yeah, it's minus five because this is how the game ends. King f6, king e5, push, oops, push, push, king up, push, push, king up, push. That's it. And the king is cut off. The game is over. It's not minus three. 
If you let Stockfish run here, it's going to show you how it's completely lost. Actually, the game is over. Okay, push the pawn. No, of course. Yeah, I mean, listen, when your rook gets to the other side of the board, it also can become a queen, right? Push the pawns. Push the pawns. Like, they become queens, so push them. There's e3, f4. You don't need to think here. Okay, the king also doesn't become a queen if the king makes it to the final rank. I mean, it's 2022, but no. Push the pawns. Jeez, Louise. Okay, take h3. That was your whole point. Yes. Nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There we are. Okay, now we're going. Yes. Yes. I was joking. You're... That doesn't... Okay. Okay. Okay, so that was actually a shockingly normal endgame. Um, that was a shockingly normal endgame. Like, I, 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 I'm actually completely flabbergasted uh, by, by, by how well that was played. Uh, but judging from the opening, uh, I am going to say... Yeah, I mean, bishop e3, not good. You have to take d4. You have to understand, like, what you're playing here. There's no need to defend the pawn that you already were going to give away. I'm going to say between 7 and 800. That's what I'm going to say. Between 7 and 800. And if it's not that, then I don't know. I don't know anything about chess. Between 7 and 800 is my prediction. Uh, let's see. 1300. 1300 played this game? What was it? Blitz? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if that was Blitz. It does not matter. They were horrible. They were absolutely terrible. They were so bad, I'm actually just going to walk off this recording. I am... Th no. This episode is done on episode one. Good night. Goodbye. Y'all are so bad. Goodbye. I'm back, YouTube. There's going to be an edit. I just wanted to get a yogurt bowl. I've never actually shown food on Guess the Elo. Why don't I do that? Look at this. Little yogurt bowl here. Cashew yogurt, hemp seeds, blueberry, strawberry. Uh, wife made it. A little energy boost in the middle of the Guess the Elo recording. Anyway, let's go back to Guess the Elo. Wow, those people were absolutely horrible. Crazy. All right, game two. E4. D5. Takes. Takes. Knight F3. Ooh, proud owner of the E4 course. This is what I recommend against the Scandinavian defense on my E4 course. D4, C4. Normally people do this, and then they can't play the C pawn. Um, but uh, this, this, and this uh, is the plan, right? So, you love my content. I made you play chess again. Wow. Well, hopefully I don't make you quit. I mean, chess is a brutal game. Wow. Black was so dedicated to the craft of the Scandinavian... Black moved the queen out of danger, even though there was no danger. Look at that. Amazing. I mean, the whole point is to move the queen out of danger. It's not, it's, this does nothing. In fact, the queen is even more of a target now. There should be two. Okay, good. There should be five. Okay. So, uh, I think white is almost winning. Let's look at the eval. Yeah, white is winning. Plus two. If white just attacks the middle aggressively, white is winning. And this is generally common for the Scandinavian. Like, these pieces don't make sense. White can get a very quick initiative. Uh, I like rook e1. And yeah, now, now it's time for d4. I would not be shocked if knight a3 is good too. Oh! <laughs> uh, the point is that you want to play knight c4 or knight b5. And if bishop takes, you destabilize this. But no one's playing that. D oh, yo, yo, d3 is so solid! You have to go d4. I mean, bishop b4 is like absurdly dumb. I mean, it's, it's, it's like, uh, like you already moved the bishop. You understand like what's going through the human brain? Like you're thinking, okay, d3, mm, that doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, you know, I developed my bishops. I got to finish my development. No, black just goes, <gasps> ooh, rook, ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga. Like, what is Black's thought process? Is Black's thought process, I'm just gonna lose my rook? Like, I don't know. I, ju I just, I... I mean, there are so many ways to stop bishop takes rook. Like, this. 
which I hope to God you didn't play. In general, if you're moving a bishop into an attack and it can just be parried by a pawn, don't do it. it t it's, now it's plus four for black. And the bishop c5. More pawns are gonna follow, dude. D4, knight e5, d4, b4, one of those moves, please. Yes, fine, b4 is better, but wow. Knight takes e5 is the top engine move. Yeah, b4 just wins a piece. But okay, this is good too. Takes. <gasps> it's the ball morphy mate! Double check! Oh my god, if you play bishop b, if you had played this, moved your king and, and rook e8, I would have uh, 100 subs. I would have gifted 100 subs. You didn't, because you, you missed it. But oh my god, it's the Paul Morphy mate. Bishop b5, double check. King d8 and rook e8 mate. Oh my goodness. Double check in the middle of the game. Wow, you guys remember the double rainbow meme? That's what a double check meme is. Knight takes d4. Nah, bro. Did your opponent really play bishop takes b1? First of all, you have the mate again, but I mean, you didn't find it once. You won't find it now. Look at you. Look at you all professional. <laughs> I'm not gonna take back. Why would I take back? You know, I have discovered check and then I take. <laughs> you just, like try to like show your opponent, you know. You could have done it in a more fancy way. This is how you set traps in chess. You go, oh no, my rook, check, and you win the queen. All right, you check and you win the queen, but. Okay, fine, bishop d3, nice, nice castles. Okay, so it's probably about, still about plus five, plus six, yeah, it's plus six. Um, b4 is winning, but even if you don't find that queen d3, huge attack on the king side, you play, okay, fine. Okay, now what? Uh-huh. Yeah, so you're still winning, but you're messing this up, because it's guess the elo. It's not so easy to figure this out, right? Queen h5, maybe bishop d4. Okay, that's a move. Has no threat. Wow, not only does that not... I mean, this doesn't have a... I mean, it, it, it's, it's just queen h6. You know, it's... Um, wow. And uh, you go from mate and two to... Oh, they found it! They found this move! Well, at this point, you might as well just go for the whole thing. Just go hang mate. Just, you know, seppuku, done. All right, game is over for losing a mate in two position. But okay, rookie seven. Oh, you actually blundered it. Oh my God, you actually blundered it. And they didn't see. They didn't see. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Rook takes. It's still mate. It's still mate. It's, it's still mate. You know what? You deserve this for putting your bishop on b1, okay? You messed with biology, all right? You tried to reproduce a lizard and a dog. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You, What is this bishop b1? You bastardizing this, the, the, the setup of chess, all right? What is this bishop b1? This is why you should have never put this here. This bishop should be here, okay? It's a Family Guy reference. You guys remember this? No? Fam no? You don't remember this? The elephant and the penguin on the ship? No? Family Guy reference. Okay, G3. Now you're not getting mated, but you are going to get your rook suffocated. You deserve it. What a move. Look at this covering. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, beautiful. Now we actually have an endgame. Very interesting position. Rook D1. Oh, now you're losing! Your rook covers your back rank, you bozo. It can't cover both. I mean, I mean, I mean. Whoa! <laughs> you, what, what the f- what, what? What? The rook can just go back? Oh my god! Boja <laughs> moi! Queen H1 is. This is legit the worst game I've ever seen. This is legit. This is the worst game I've ever seen. Oh my god, it's made again! It's made again! It's made again! <laughs> I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't breathe! It's a draw, it's a draw. queen end. I can't do this anymore. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, in queen end games, guys, queen end games, keep your king and queen off the same diagonal, just please. Please. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god.
Oh my god, is white gonna win by mate? White is totally winning by mate, right? That's what's gonna happen here. Black is like, I don't want to trade queens. Oh my god, it's king f7. It's king f7 mate. Black is so absurd, but they just trade queens and push the f they just push the pawn! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my 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 god! Oh my god! Listen, sometimes people get upset because they say, oh my god. Games like this, I mean li listen, I am not disrespecting whatever faith you are a part of. I this game, I there's nothing else I can say. This is legitimately nothing else I can say. This is this is, uh, th th this, this is completely, completely, completely insane. This is the most insane game I have ever seen. I'm not joking. Ever. You both hung mate seven times? Nine times? I don't even know. I don't even want to guess your rating. Honestly, I don't even want to guess. I'm kind of scared to guess your rating. Okay, let's go through the opening. Absurd play by Black. I'm thinking 900 to 1,000, probably. Right? It's got to be. Like 900, right? Like, no? What do you guys think? No shot? You know what? I'm gonna say 900 to 1,000. That's my guess. I believe these people are between 900 and 1,000. That's what I think. All right. High 700. High 700. Shout out to Javron. High 700. Wow, I might make this game into a separate video, I, honestly. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of sad that you submitted this game for Guess the Elo because this, is, th this game could have easily, easily had its own video. It would have had a million views. I, this was a rapid game? Okay, I'm done. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm go, I, I go, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have some of my bowl and then we will continue. Okay, Gotham sub playing e4, e5. Very nice, principled, cent central, central move. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, so far no complaints. So far no complaints, good stuff here by Black. I mean, now maybe c3, d4. Okay, white is going for fried liver. Even though black has the optimal setup to stop it. This, you don't go for fried liver when it's impossible to do. Yeah, because of castles. Now this is just bad. Thank you, Redshift Blue, for the prime. <clears throat> okay. Ooh. Fish hook. Fishing pole. Boop and boop, right? That's okay. That's actually very interesting. Okay, this is just terrible. I mean, beautiful move, by the way. This is uh, straight out of the video called... Um, uh, stopping early queen attacks in chess. So you just, you come in, you punish it. You punish it, you attack it. Yeah, queen d1, and now just strike in the middle. Opa. Opa. Beautiful. Amazing. But, this is guess the elo. So, knight g4. Yeah, well, no, you're not, nobody's playing b5, which is the top engine move. Knight g4. Okay. I don't know what we're doing, but okay. F3. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Holy crap. Knight takes c2 check. With what purpose? Why did you do this? Like, think about your logic. Me go here. They take me go here. What? What is the logic? You attack rook and they move rook. You lost horse. Your other horse trapped. You know, sometimes, folks, you got to take the L. Sometimes you just got to be like, oh, I got nothing. I got to go back. Take the L. It's okay. All right. That's all you gotta do. So, uh, knight takes c2 check. Knight f2. Hg. Okay, so white still has absolutely everything he wants. White has just got d4 and queen h7 mate. Also opening up this. White's got an amazing position. What does black do? Queen d6. So now, if I was white, I would play d4. Oh, that happened. It happened. Oh my god, it happened. d4 is a great move. f5. Okay, the game is over. Just take the bishop. White wins, just take the bishop. That's what happened. The game is over. Queen c5, the game is over. D6. What? It's like mate. I mean, you lose every piece. I don't understand. 
The game is over. What 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 what, what are we even looking at here? Just what bishop e6, rook f7. I take everything, I take your queen. What? I mean just just this, right? Just bishop f7. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You are so lucky. And yet it's still plus six. Okay, even here it's still plus six because white is up a rook. Okay, you could have been down everything. So it's actually funny. Here it was better for to play g6. But, I mean, that's never happening. Wow. Incredible. So you, you, you still win it back, but it's okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great move. Okay, this is Black's best move of the game. Actually, Black's best move of this entire game would have been not playing it because the ch chess has been nothing short of awful. But the second best move is b6 because you, you, when, when you're down material, you have to counterattack on the king. That's, that's honestly the only way to go in chess. You just got to counterattack the king. So bishop a6, bring the rook. I love this. Oh, and your opponent literally walks directly into a wall and loses the rook. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. Now you're not even losing. Great. Good job. Beautiful stuff. Knight c3. Amazing. Yup, now you're gonna do some bad stuff right back to your opponent. Not wow, knight b- look at how tricky this move is. Knight b5 is an incredibly tricky move. If you take, it's mate. Uh, sorry, if you take, it's promotion. Wow. Okay. Check, yup. Uh-huh. Queen. Oh my god. You won. You won. It's mate. With a pawn. Oh my god. You cut off the king. You cut off all the king's oxygen. Incredible. I love Guess the Elo. I just, I, I, this is the best series. Look, I'm sorry if you find it repetitive, but this is just purely the best series. I mean, honestly, this is just incredible stuff. Yeah, White just didn't know what to do. White was, uh, White, White was like Conor McGregor, okay? White was a savage in the early stage of the game, attacking ruthless power, you know, brutal. But when unable to find the finish, like in the Nate Diaz fight, gassed out, got counterpunched, and then just uh, got tapped out. What can you say? Wow. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of an important thing. When you, when you go from completely winning to just winning, use your other pieces. Stop fighting with the pieces you have. Get the other pieces out. And look at what your opponent wants to do. The second you take your eye off your opponent's resources is when you get punished. Wow, I have absolutely no idea. Um, the opening was so gibberish. The tactics were so scatterbrained. But the ability to come back was also really good. I'm going to say like 1100. I'm going to say like 1100. 11, like a low 1100 player. Fifteen seventy three versus 1613. What? How does that even begin to make sense? How does that even begin to... No, I don't understand at all. I mean, what is this opening? How does white just have some garbage opening they play? I don't get it. I mean, black played great. Knight g4 doesn't make a... This doesn't make... No, come on. This is a 1600 losing material like this? And then, and then the 1600 allows the attack? I mean, the whole point... Dude, you didn't take the knight earlier because you were worried about the attack. I mean, it's just like such an impulsive game. Wow. I mean, and then here I thought, okay, white got a couple of lucky moves, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's crazy. Wow. Maybe drunk 1500. Okay, next game. Incredible. Uh, and 1100 doesn't find the way to take back. Guys, but even at the end, I mean, even the end, like this whole thing, like, oh, I'm going to move my horsey. It's going to get taken. And then, and then, and then I'm going to make a queen. Oh, he didn't do it. 
You know, it's like, I, I mean, Rook H8 is such a bad move for a 1560. Wow. Okay, anyway, D4, E6, nice. French defense, exchange. Okay, some Scandinavian French. All right. Queen D8. Okay, so it's a French, Scandinavian, passive... Okay. Great play by white. Beautiful. All the bishops out. Great. A3. Yep. All right. Perfect. So far, so good. Best game thus far. Um, A6. Black is trying to play B5. Okay, queen in the middle. I would bring the rook to the middle first before you choose where to put the queen. Rook is less flexible. You know rook is going to go to E1. Okay? So you don't know where the queen's gonna go yet, so just move the rook over. Okay, with b5, fine. Yeah, move the rooks. No! Finish moving the rooks! You... Okay, d5 is not a bad move. Yeah, more flexible, I don't know what I said. This is not a bad move, you just trade everything. So, yeah, at this level, it's a lot of like, oh, if I push d5, they take, I take, they take, I take, they take, I take, good. But you lost your advantage. Your advantage is the two bishops and more center space. So you have to, right? Do this. Okay, d5. Fine. Big trade. Yes, and your opponent allows you to walk right into the position. Mmm. Mmm. Very tricky. Very tricky. Rook g5. Oh. So your opponent sees that the bishop can take this, but not that the bishop can take this. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Bishop f6. What? Now you're gonna lose this pawn too? Okay, white is playing actually very well. Maybe 12, 1300. Black is not playing that well. Take it. Okay, rook g8. Just move your bridges. Oh, I see. I see. It's not so simple here. Uh oh. Yeah, rook e1 is unfindable. What? White played rook e1? Rook e1 defends the knight. I mean, it hits the knight. It defends the bishop by attacking the knight. Wait, I don't understand. What about this? Now you can do this? Oh, because there's no rook g8. Because you attack the knight. See, if you just do this immediately, which is what I thought, then there's takes, takes, rook g8, defend, attack. And black wins the bishop, and black wins the game. By putting the rook on e1 first, you actually create this threat with rook e1. Wow. 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 I mean, h6 is just... Wait, what? Why can't you take on h6 now? But no one's, no one's gonna play this. That's not human. Rook g4? Is that the best move? Take? That's it. I mean, just beautiful game. Check. Pick up the pawn. Yes. Force the rook trade. Incredible. Beautiful stuff. What? This is gonna be like a 600. Okay, white played... Okay, I wouldn't go bishop d2. Like, here, there's no reason to play passive. Like, play aggressive. Play bishop g5. Uh, but, uh... Okay, yeah, I mean, you could have... a6, b5 is a bit weird. Um, a6, b5 is like an intermediate trying to play, but it's, it's not that good, because it just weakens the queen side. It's not that good of an uh, idea. It's much better for black to just play b6, to not overcommit the pawns. It's just good not to, like, overextend your pawns like this where they could be targets, but... Yeah, rook d1 is not great. It would have been better to play rook e1. Um, wow. So, white could have been anywhere from 1,200 to 2,000. No. No, 1,200 to like 17 or 1,800. Black? If black is near white's rating, like if we're talking this is a group together, 1400, 1500. However, if there's a rating discrepancy, white might be like 1800, 17, 1800. Although I don't think so, because I don't think a 17, 1800 trades all the pieces. They understand that their pieces are a bit better. So I'm going to say about average rating, about f high 1400, low 1500. That's what I'm going to say. Let's go. We're about, we're about to get such a shocker. It's going to be like a 900 who played this game. 1300. 1300. That's actually very impressive. I did not think that that was a 1300. I, 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 I gave you some good props. The, you finding rook to e1, 
You finding rookie one. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see it. I apologize. I forgot to change them. Yeah, rookie one was an incredible find. Yeah, and you got a brilliant move for it. I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, rookie one is uh, an incredible move. Yeah. So either you're just very underrated or you cheated this game and you sent it in. Uh, I'm hoping for the first one. I mean, rookie one is, is, is you know, it, everybody has a great game they play, right? 5418 is a healthy sleep schedule, changed my mind. What is that? What? What does that even mean? I don't know. Whatever. You're confusing. Anyway, back to the main. That was a great game. Hopefully you didn't cheat. Uh, anytime you guys submit games with moves like Rookie 1, I'm always like... Mm -hmm. But then, you know, everybody accuses you of... Awake 54 hours, sleep 18? Oh. No, I, I, I always make jokes that, that, like, I hope they don't cheat because everyone in chat, when they see a nice game, just accuses them of cheating. Because chat is awful. Chad is sitting there, like, eating their own boogers, like... I would've... I, I'm 1,500 now, I wouldn't have played that move. And then, like, they're actually 700. Because that's the thing, you don't actually have to tell the truth on Twitch. You could just say you're 1,500, but you're 600. Anyway, final game uh, of today's guest, the ELO. Uh, a lot of fun recording this one. Um, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. E4. C5. Wait, I didn't put who's who. What am I doing? Gotham sub is white. Oops. Gotham sub random noob. There we go. Okay, I don't know what kind of a Sicilian defense this is. Uh, yeah, in general, I don't tell beginners to play Sicilians because you're going to do something like this, you know? It's like, uh, it's like... Uh, like when I leave my dog downstairs, not in his pen. He eats my shoes. You are eating shoes right now. D4. Yeah, I wouldn't do D4, but okay, D4 is fine. I mean, black played. The reason you don't do this is because you don't want to put so many things on light squares. You're just committing all your... You're committing too much. To the, yeah, now E5 is winning for white. Good, you found it. Okay, don't go G4 because then Queen H4 check. Don't get excited. Well... We are in for an incredible game. Queen h4 check. King d2. Knight takes f4. All right, here we go. Queen f3, beautiful. Queen g5. I, wouldn't, I don't like this move. I don't like this move. I would play h4 in a heartbeat. Oh, but then queen e5. Never mind. I love this move. Great move. No human being here plays knight db5. You probably played king d1. Look at me. Look at me. Hands in the air like it's good to be alive. And I'm a famous rapper. People in the past are all crooked -y. Handlebars, flowbots, anybody? I, I, I predicted it, but yeah, queen e5. Okay, opponent blunders knight back to e2. That's actually findable because you're like, oh, I'm under attack and I want to attack the pin piece, pp on the pp. Okay, danger levels. Okay, take the bishop. I mean, take the knight. <clears throat> okay, don't, fine, I don't care. Let's guess the elo. Nice. Attack the queen, that's what I would do here. Okay, attack the queen, nice. Check. <coughs> block okay you forgot about your knight being protected <coughs> don't take the bishop because then i check you and win your queen good attack 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 queen trade though problem okay bishop block don't put pieces in the line of sight of the opponent like this because they can just play moves like d5 okay idiotic move just queen takes bishop yes Oh, your rook is... Uh, oh. What? Uh-huh. Nice. Queen c2. Okay. Okay. Chilling. Queen... Y yeah. Wow. This is, uh, this is quite a game. I think white wins this game. Why is it not a king d2 takes? Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how you trap it. This is how you trap it. So sometimes when the queen, yeah, it's not like this, because then the rook is not defended. You have to move king d2. Incredible. But okay, you're going to lose all your pawns, pog. Yep, your opponent just gobbles everything. And you're barely even worse. Black is up five pawns, and you're barely even worse. Because you can play moves like queen e5 or queen c3. Attack this queen, attack this rook. No development by black. Again, Swiss cheese position, right? 
All pawns on light squares, so... Uh, I would, like, play h6 and sack my queen. Look at this. I would do something like this. Look how badass that is. That is so cool. And the pawn just goes. That's never gonna happen, but, you know, you're obviously gonna take. Oh my god, now white is winning for sure. White is winning for sure. Good night, it's 4 a.m. in India. Good night. Good night, good night. Opinion on the Antichrist? Uh, this is... Th th let's just... Uh, let's just watch this game. This game is the Antichrist. Um, King E1. Okay, so you could have gone to the G file, which wins, apparently. Or E1. I don't know why this doesn't win. Computer thinks that when you move your queen in to create a mate, you're gonna get checked. You should have gone to G1, where there's no way to check you when you play Queen D6. Okay, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's why this is a bad move, but now, uh, okay, you're threatening mate, but again, uh, there's this stopping it. Good. Oh, you savage. You threaten mate while simultaneously hanging your own. Your bishop was the blockade out. So it's mate in one. They don't... That is embarrassing. How do you find the move one move away from ending the game on the spot? Jesus. Sorry, I've been summoning him a lot this video. All right, that's a draw. Check, 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 check. Black just decides to play b6. Rook d7. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Apparently, it's a draw after queen a3, king d2, queen a5, etc. And a draw. That's never going to happen. Uh, queen c5 check. That's it. No more checks. Well, I mean, there's queen g1, but then you move out of the way. Black resigns. I... I... 8 to 900. I don't even... I, I, I honestly... I... 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 8 to 900. I don't even... That's, I, I don't even... I don't even know. 1099! Oh my god! 1100 by white and 1073 by black? Oh god! Oh! Oh boy! Yep, well... That's a good way to end this episode. This episode had everything. I'm gonna go back to eating my bowl.